Hi Aquarius, it's Al here to do your May 2018 general reading. Um, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, to all of, um, for all the likes and shares, everything. Um, it, it means a lot to me. I know I did not get all of the readings out for April. I didn't do all of the, uh, the mid-April. Um, I've been terribly busy. Um, yeah, so anyhow here we are um i'll save the announcements to the end i have a big announcement i hope that you guys partake in it uh once again here we go may 2018 right thank you for the messages for aquarius the collective aquarius messages for aquarius true accurate messages for aquarius we're going to start with love, the love messages for Aquarius. Thank you for the messages for Aquarius. True messages for Aquarius. Mm. All right, bottom of the deck, the page of earth. All right, messages of stability, something new starting here. Um, it's still in its infancy, but it can build into the knight of earth and then of course the king of earth queen of earth king of earth all right so the tower and justice nice two major arcanas for the basis of the reading the tower talks about of course something unexpected happening in the month of may but justice crosses it that's a good cross to have because whatever happens here, whatever falls down, whatever breaks down, it's definitely going to be rebuilt or whatever falls, it's going to balance out the scales. Whatever you felt like was unfair, unjust, is definitely coming to a head and things will feel balanced and just. The basis for all the energy is the lovers. Wow. That makes sense. Someone needs to make a choice. A choice in... This is love. So we'll say a choice in um, love partners. There might be a love affair going on. Someone could be dealing with the Gemini. Current energy presently is the two of fire. Yeah. This two to the tower. Yeah. Someone actually makes... The it looks like somebody's making an active decision to move away from to chart a new path with the two of fire. This is action, um, they're taking the necessary steps to get there. In the recent past, we have the two of water, so it was a, a, a mutually loving relationship, a successful relationship. It very well may still be, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of twos, a lot of decisions to make. And then the near future is the nine of water. So wish fulfillment here. You're getting what you want. Whatever that may be. It looks like, I won't speak too soon, but it looks like there's a choice to be made in love. Either the Aquarius has to make the choice or someone that Aquarius is dealing with needs to make the choice. Um, it, it might be in your favor, Aquarius, with the nine of water here. Your power is the chariot. Wow. To you reigning in all of all of the wayward energy. 
the energy of the dark and the light you're you're pulling it together and you're moving forward and you're making a decision and you're getting you're having the victory some of you could be dealing with the cancer number seven card divinity external to you is the three of fire someone's waiting Someone's waiting for either for Aquarius or Aquarius is waiting for someone, but this is external to you. Someone is waiting for you, Aquarius, or someone's waiting to move away from you, but someone is waiting. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer, Libra. Someone, somebody has to make a choice to I just heard do better What? Is, I don't even know what that means for someone but you need to make a choice to do better to choose better hopes and fears five of water hmm it could be either or whatever your situation may be a fear you don't want to you don't want to be in grief you don't want to grieve a situation you don't want to have to let something go you, we all would like to just hold on this is also hesitating before making decisions here with the five of water knowing that you need to make a decision you got all these two cards decision yeah you need to cut something out and you, you don't want to grieve that it will be a loss but a probably a necessary loss the outcome the magician nice some of you definitely dealing with a Gemini uh, the, a one card very nice very nice um, the high priestess the magician so the outcome is you being able to manifest this you being able to put whatever this is together for yourself um, you being able to make a decision or someone making a decision about you and then you're able to move forward and plan out and manipulate the energy surrounding yourself or, or someone else to get the desired outcome that you're looking for. What is the magician? What is the magician? What's the magician in the outcome? Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's way too many. So what we're going to do is put them back in the deck. The magician and the outcomes. The magician and the outcomes. The page of fire. Some of you are dealing with somebody that's younger than you. Or you're younger than someone else. There's a dynamic of inexperience here. Someone being experienced. Someone being a little inexperienced. Um, or a relationship that you're trying to move to, Aquarius. Or, yeah, move to. Or someone else is moving away from you to a relationship it's still very new it's still like you need to get to know each other and you're still getting to know each other there's the opportunity for it to be something very foundational there's um passion here what's the nine of water okay the four of earth. In other decks, the nine, the four, the four of earth is a, a, a large sum of money, um, a windfall, winning the lottery, whatever that may be. Because sitting on the nine of water and the four of earth, this and it very well may be that whatever comes in for you monetarily it sets you to another status it puts you in a status that you like it puts you in a place of um, wanting to hold on to that status too with the four of earth but whatever comes in for you it, it, it elevates you monetarily you know materialistically it, there's no other way to put that 
What is the lover's card? What is the lover's card? Who has to make this choice? Who has to make the choice? Who has to make the choice? Who has to make the choice? The lover's card. Ten of water. It's definitely a choice about home and family. Something that's already been established. It's an emotional decision. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They have to make a decision about maybe you and home and family. I'm going to take this card. Okay. Wow. Ten of earth. <laughs> Okay, definitely they have to make a decision about what's already been established, home and family for, uh, that's what the decision is, you know, wow, what's the two of water, what's the two of water in the past, what's the two of water in the past, what's the two of water in the past. Aquarius, jeez, Louise. Eight of Fire. Something moving really quickly, really rapidly for you guys. Um, lots of communication. It could be communication about the trouble in a relationship due to jealousy and greed. Uh, you could be communicating with someone else about the trouble. To a fire. Who has to make this decision? To a fire. Who has to make a decision? Is it Aquarius? Is it someone else? To a fire. Who has to make the decision? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages. Seven of Earth. Have to make a decision, but you're looking backwards. Someone's looking backwards. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They, they don't know. Four of Water. Hmm. It, it might not be taken to this offer just yet. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The star card flipped out. Aquarius, this is you. Some of you looking back. I really feel like the person. Okay, for so it's like two stories. Some of you are dealing with six of fire. So it's going to be successful. Whatever you're doing. Whatever's going on with Aquarius. Um, some of you are looking back on this person time with this person you spent seven or more years seven or more months whatever with this person you put in the work there you were waiting for things to manifest it didn't particularly manifest in your favor so you now they've come with an offer it could be a cancer Pisces, scorpio but you you're now you're looking at the offer like i don't know if i should take it because in the past things didn't turn out well and i, I just don't know Some of you are holding on to the past, too. You're getting your wish fulfilled with a particular person. But there's history here. Not so good history. You know, a mix, a mixture. Good and bad. Oh, Aquarius. All right, let's do a career and finance reading. Because that matters, right? Yes, it does. I'm an Aquarius. Okay. Career and finance. Overall, it looks like, you know, there'll be some unexpected shakeup in in love. But it's really not unexpected because it's like a lot of you manifest this. A lot of you wished for it. A lot of you wanted it. Um, it's, it, you know, so it, you welcome it. You're welcome. You're welcoming it, but at the same time, you're very cautious. You're treading lightly, because some of you are dealing with people from the past, or dealing with people you have history with, and history is sketchy, right? All right. What are the career and finance messages for Aquarius? Career and finance messages for Aquarius. Career and finance messages for Aquarius. Career and finance messages for Aquarius. I gotta hurry up and get out of here, guys. Today is my aunt's funeral. Um, I'm dressed and ready. Uh, but me, sh I could get dressed and ready for something that starts at 2 o'clock. I can get dressed and ready at like 7 o'clock in the morning and still be late. I don't know. It's weird. Some people think I'm, because I'm notoriously late, I know it sucks. 
so people think I'm just like in my home just like doing nothing and just or or I get started late no I'll get started early and still be late it's ridiculous but I'm working on that um hopefully I'm not gonna be late today you know because I have to get in a limo and stuff so yeah. okay it's a joyous occasion um my aunt was sick she's in a better place She's not feeling pain anymore. She had cancer. Um, so, and then my daughter is, she does track. She's running state right now. So, and she's got one of the little stickers on. So, I don't know. I'm all over the place, guys. My business hadn't been open this week. You know, it's just families in town arguing fussing fighting having fun at the same time it's been crazy okay uh career and finance for Aquarius three of cups seven of sword what this says is that yeah there's time to rejoice in, in some type of achievement but at the same time you might be rejoicing with someone who who is being sneaky, who's being a liar. This very well could could be that. Or this says you need to revise some plans. Yeah, there there's time for celebration. You made some strides toward whatever you're trying to get to, but you need to revise your plans. You need to steal away <laughs> from all the partying and really you know get on it that speaks to me the basis for all of the energy is the hermit yeah you need to go to, into seclusion and rethink this and um write out plans rethink plans definitely write them out in another deck the seven of swords has a in like an, an older gentleman he's writing out something of course he has the swords next to him but you know and the sorts of thoughts y you need to rethink this whatever it is presently the six of cups uh children may be involved home life someone from the past uh good thoughts nostalgic thoughts someone from the past may come in and help you this is good samaritan help too good old-fashioned help in the recent past the magician and reverse I don't even read reversals but it came at reverse so yeah this could be somebody being manipul manipulative could be a Gemini or an Aries sometimes this is Aquarius um you just weren't able to manifest something someone was trying to manipulate the energy either they did for the bad or they weren't able to manipulate it for the good that's what it says when it comes up in the reverse so you just weren't able to push through if if you were trying to make something happen it, it didn't happen and if someone else around you or you were trying or were being manipulative in the recent past um then that's what you were or that's what you are but whoa come on in the near future, six of wands, success in business, success in home, help in your home, help in business, just overall success here. Nice. Your power is the devil energy. Mm, get in control of yourself, uh, Aquarius. Three cups and then the devil. Somebody's being sneaky. This is supposed to be career and finance. Oh, I just heard this. A lot of you won't see this in the near future if you don't get in control of this. Addiction, codependency, telling outright lies and half-truths, having somebody on the side, dragging people along in your dirt, or someone doing this to you, you know, you need to remove yourself also. It's like, oh, like frenemy here. Like, cause you're you're celebrating with this person, and then the seven of 
swords crosses that somebody is celebrating with you and acting like a friend, but they are not a friend. That devil energy could be Capricorn. External to you is the four of swords. Somebody's taking a break. Someone's engaging in prayer, meditation. They're grateful for some things. They need to think about some things. They need to mull it over. They need to get to the six of sword. Move away from the confusion and confrontation. But um, right now they're at the four of swords. Could be Gemini, Cancer. Look, I said Cancer. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Your hopes and fears, definitely in fear. Don't want things to end and end in disappointment, grief, being betrayed or backstabbed, backed into a corner, slapped in the face, shot down. No. We don't want that. We want success in the near future. And you will have it. But you need, some of you need to revise plans. Some of you need to be cautious of the, the company you keep, the outcome. The Knight of Swords, someone rushing towards you. Could be a lot of air energy. Gemini, Libra, Gemini here, Libra, Aquarius rushing towards you in regards to uh, career and finance. You may be rushing towards something. Something's ending or you're fearing an ending. Um, you, some of you could be moving uh, uh, companies if you work for, if you work for a company. Um, some of you could be oh I heard giving you notice with that knight of swords you might be a little confrontational you might have to tame yourself you know give you two weeks notice but still you don't want to burn bridges that you might have to cross again I always say I'll burn a bridge I never crossed if I never had to use you for anything and it's been all these 32 years then hey whatever get out my face don't make me burn that bridge because I will. Knight of Swords. Six of Pentacles. I think some of you are rushing towards something that is it's more uh, your speed. It's more, it gives you more page of sword. Ooh. Ace of Cups. <laughs> this is so Aquarius. The Moon. Five, five of Swords. Y'all, oh my gosh. Why can't we get it together? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You will make sound and solid decisions around your money. You're, you're sitting pretty. You're sitting good. Um, just continue to stay there. All right, so something in the past or right now for you just, <coughs> excuse me, is um, <coughs> there's a level of inequality here. Someone doing more, someone, you know, um, getting less. You could be dealing with a younger, do we have this in the other spread? Could be dealing with a younger air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's love here, but at the same time, there's a lot of unknown. It might be spirit working with you too, also. Um, and then there's argument. It's just, it's love, it's argument. It's this like, you guys just can't get it together. Like, and if this is career and finance, this is you wanting something that pays you what you think you're worth. You want the equality there you've done the research you know where it is you're cutting out this this current position because you want to go towards something that fulfills you emotionally I'm hearing that the <laughs> you're fulfilled emotionally because at this new company or this new whatever because the money is there you feel like you're getting paid what you're worth so now your emotions can can run free they can be balanced this job has you off kilter like and then some of you just in the not know you didn't know if you were getting laid off you didn't know if you get fired you felt like you had 
to defend yourself. You felt like you had to win. You you wanted to one up this either person or this entity, this this job situation. For some of you, it's love. Some of you, it's um, frenemies here in career and finance. But what what it looks like, it turns out in your favor. Success. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. All right, so let's get some butterfly oracle cards in here to close out the reading. Thank you for three additional messages of love and support via the butterfly oracle cards. What should Aquarius be concerned with focused on going into the month of May? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the messages for Aquarius. May. All right. Why am I doing a Celtic cross? <laughs> we'll keep with it then, you know. I guess it's supposed to happen. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, y'all the only one got three Celtic cross. All right. Let's see. See, this is gonna make me late. I'm, I'm still, I'm still on time right now, guys. Still on time. Okay, bottom of the deck: realizations and epiphanies. Nice, nice, nice. So. Hey, it's in your face, Aquarius. Stop. Stop hiding it. Stop trying to not see it. We'll do that sometimes just because we need to get to a place where we can take action mentally. Um, sometimes we just don't want to deal with shit because we got to deal with it. You know, and, and we're so good at dealing with it, but we don't want to deal with it. It's so crazy. It's crazy being an Aquarius. All right. Dietary change. Volunteer. Some really good energy there. Of course, these are self-explanatory. Whatever your diet is, you probably need to change it. What crosses that is volunteering. Volunteer at maybe a nutritional uh, facility. Maybe some governmental type nutritional facility. Or, or um, I don't know. I don't know. Volunteering, also I'm hearing, is will get you to a place where you'll meet other like-minded people who can even give you, you know, tidbits and tips about changing your diet and, and what this food is doing to us as a whole. So you'll meet people. Volunteering is, of course, about the, the work that you do. But it's also about getting in that sphere of people who have shared the same interests or to just meeting people who can um, ignite um, new thoughts I hear I heard all right energy grief work and, and I'm here and a few of my family members who are Aquarius we're here uh, grief work definitely grieving uh, the loss um, I actually had two funerals this this weekend my, my aunt and then my nephew uh, not my nephew excuse me my cousin I just looked at my phone it was my mom that's her nephew um uh my cousin is on sunday today is saturday is my aunt so yeah it, we're we're grieving we're in grief um dealing with that and some of you need to grieve situations to let it die and, and and grieve the loss go through the grief period that's the only way you find closure within yourself if you don't grieve then y'all know what that looks like. Somebody's going to blow up eventually. The recent past, adult children. So adult children, um, for some of my queries, is highlighted. Um, you may be concerned about them or vice versa. They're concerned about you. But adult children are is highlighted. Um, reach out. Reach out. You, you have to always stay reaching out. I know in the Bible it says the children should reach out to the parents. But... Oh, Lord, don't we live in a new time 
a new age where everybody is so self-centered um, especially our children if you have you know the 90s babies and the 2000 babies good luck reach out to them because they might just forget you if you don't <laughs> any parent out there knows exactly what I'm talking about all right um, present energy healthcare change seeking and finding all right so some of you are definitely concerned about your health your diet um, some of you are doing the research to become more healthier to heal ailments and illness um, this is good where you are what the cards are, are saying is that um, it's favorable and, and, it, and you'll find help there you are stronger than you know in the near future some of you are feeling not strong parental care right now some of you need to be worried about your parents like I said adult children in the near in the recent past parental care now here in your power check in on people uh, allow them to check in on you Aquarius external to you take the next step now so and I saw this kind of like in a, a last spread somebody is waiting for you or waiting to do something with you or for you or to come to you they need to take the next step now uh, hopes and fears welcome the new definitely a whole we need the new welcome the new whatever the new may be for you the new car the new home the the new look the new whatever the new boyfriend the new girlfriend welcome the new welcome the new, the new job the new business the outcome get some rest and sobriety yeah, we have the devil in the last spray. Get some rest. Some of you are not sleeping or not sleeping enough, working a lot, um, worried a lot. Get some rest. Maintain your sobriety if your sobriety surrounds um, uh, substances, um, alcoholic substances, uh, drugs, and narcotics. Maintain your sobriety however you do that. Now, also, this talks about sobriety of the mind. If you're not getting rest, your mind is not clear. You're not sober. You're almost like as if you're intoxicated. So, you know, sobriety, however that looks for you, definitely us going through grief, you know, um, you still want to remain vigilant and sober. All right, so Aquarius, I hope that this helped you out. I hope that it shed so much light for you. I'm going to go ahead and literally get out of here now. <laughs> um, thank you guys. Oh, announcements. I have a new website. All of the information is below. It's www.tarotofl.com. You can book online there. You don't need to send me an email, but you can if you'd like. Um, also, take advantage of the monthly subscriptions. There's a $10, $15, and $20 subscription monthly. Um, for $10, you can receive a 5 minute uh five card spread audio spread um it audio and and photo uh of your of course of your cards every month about the general energy surrounding you this is a great way to take advantage of because i get so many emails of i can't afford to get a reading i can't this is a great way it's ten dollars it's every month you don't have to do the the because I have a lot of return um, clients. Uh, and every time you come back, you're paying $55, $40. Just that $10 a month will get you where you need. If you feel like you need more, of course, we can talk about that. But there's for $15, you'll get a 10-minute spread. And that's uh, a 10-card audio spread every month. And then for $20, of course, you'll get a 15-minute video. Uh, and we'll pull cards about the general energy uh, surrounding you for that month. And it's every month. Um, how many subscriptions do we have in our life? So many. Uh, some we use, some we don't. This will be one that you can use. And it comes to you automatically. Whether you're saying, hey, send me my reading. It comes to you. So you'll know the general energy surrounding you. And whatever is going on for you. Um, cancel any time. Uh, take advantage of it, though. Especially for those who say, 
I can't afford a reading and I need to know what's going on every month every week or whatnot I'm they're not weekly they're monthly but take advantage of it or um, or uh, take advantage of just requesting um, a reading via the website everything is below find me on Instago also ask me a question or two there um, choose to fund the page all monies go back into the into the channel uh, the GoFundMe link is below follow me on Instagram um, my handles are below uh, Aquarius it looks like an interest an interesting month it's gonna be phenomenal I really feel like it will be uh, thank you guys uh, in advance for uh, the continued support uh, my l time is freeing up so I'll be able to do this stuff more consistently um, <clears throat> so that's a good thing anyhow Aquarius remember when in doubt pray I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.